we heard that you were interested in um, a little bit of drag. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. We yeah. had these upwards where you're curious about drag. I wouldn't say so much curious. Not as, curious. As, as, no, kind of <laughs> literally dragged into it. Oh, yeah. Dragged into it by dragged into it. My other half. Oh, okay. Yeah. The Queens want to start work on a drag persona for fitness instructor Mark. Hello. How are you? More relaxed than uh, last night. I think uh, got stressful? it out of my system. Oh, look at you guys. I mean, it's not every day that you um, see this. So, um, what? yeah. What do you imagine you're going to look like? Um, no idea. Just so happens on this table we have a whole load of makeup. We thought <laughs> we might just see what happens if we get you having a bit of a play. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Terrified. Let's put this off. In my head, this isn't right. I'm doing something wrong. I'm a man. I'm happy to be a man, and I don't do this. To address Mark's struggle to embrace his inner drag, Cheddar and Anna have arranged to meet him for a pint. They're wondering if he'll be more at ease talking man to man. God, it's full of surprises, this, isn't it? We wanted to meet you out of drag just to show you that we're not like that all of yeah. the time, and actually being Anna's fabulous, but I also enjoy being a man <laughs> as well, yeah. you know, so I, I can be many different people, so it'd be great to kind of break, break you out of this kind of mould, this regimented... Yeah. Fixed persona kind yeah, of, yeah. And, and see whether there's another aspect of your persona. I just felt like I don't want... I didn't feel comfortable making myself feminine. Right, so... We're going to have to try your outfit on to make sure that it fits correctly. Okay. To keep the final outfit a surprise, Lil has asked him to wear a blindfold. This is very weird, very strange. Probably the most uncomfortable I've ever felt in my life. Why do you feel uncomfortable? Although people look at me and think I must be um, body confident, I'm not. Right. So this is... This is hard. Yeah. I was always a big, tall lad, but I was very overweight. When I was 12 years old, I'm talking about 60 and a half stone, you get called names. Sometimes uh, the verbal stuff is worse because it doesn't leave a mark, it just lingers inside of you. And I just found that very difficult. I shouldn't be body conscious, but I am. Yeah. So you now I'm the person that doesn't go to the swimming pool, I'm the person that doesn't take the t shirt off, um, I don't walk around in vests, anything like that. So, um, so, like I said, this for me is really hard to stand here like this. I was not the person at school that read out loud. I wasn't the person that did the shows. I, I, that's not me. I'm the guy that stands in the corner of the, the dance floor, tapping his foot. There's no way to get out of this. It's, it's, I'd rather be in a shark cage than doing what I'm doing tomorrow night. You know, that's the honest truth. Hey. Hi there, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. What do I say to that? Camo and pink. <laughs> um, it's the ultimate camouflage, but the opposite way. Like, you can't help but notice you. I want to be confident outside my comfort zone, standing up in front of a crowd and doing something that I'd never in my wildest dreams think I'd be doing. Please welcome to the stage, Miss Electra Siles! <laughs> All week I've been terrified every single day of what's coming, but I'm so glad I did this. It actually probably made me stronger because I, I can get out of that rigid mentality now. Although I can't stop doing this with my hand on my hip now, I've got to get rid of this.